Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monet here. Y'all, we are just doing a full in-depth, like, product-based get ready with me because I just want to talk about beauty products today. I really just do. I try to do the whole Q&A thing on Instagram and, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not really talking about shit today, and that's just how I feel today. Besides just fun, girly, cute, simple things. And the shower is drifting crazy. Hello? I'm currently in LA, and the get ready with me that I was supposed to post today um, was gonna be me getting ready for SZA's Grammy party. But girl, I didn't end up going because, as horrible as it sounds, I didn't end up going because my outfit just wasn't right. I ended up packing like two backup outfits just in case I had something like that come up. And I was ready to go and it's like literally 7 p.m. The party's at 10 p.m. So I start getting ready, I try on my outfits and they didn't fit, bro. Like I feel like that's always a risk I'm taking whenever like I'm ordering stuff straight to the hotel or like, I honestly pack Super last minute because that's just how my lifestyle is now. It's like things will kind of come up. I don't have like a month to prepare. It's like you usually have like a week. And even at that, it's like I'm not doing it right when I find out. You know damn well. Like I'm um, the... <laughs> uh, I would like to say I'm not a procrastinator, but you know. With shipping and everything. The, um, anyway, we ended up going to Nordstrom. Me and Jalen ended up going to Nordstrom. And it was pouring rain. Everything else was closed on the Sunday. And Nordstrom didn't have like anything, y'all, like anything. So I was like, I'd rather not go than like literally wear. I didn't have anything, it was black tie, y'all. So anyway, I'm getting ready for a meeting day with my team. A lot of my team is based in LA. Um, so I'm excited to see them in person today. And I have some other content I need to film around like full glam. And I also have a photo shoot. Me and Jalen are doing a photo shoot today. Like our first kind of like, I mean, you guys saw the Jamaica photo shoot, but this one's different because it's with Jordan Keith, which we both like really love his work and he wanted to work with us too. So I'm super excited. Um, and I also need some new headshots, but I'm going in with um, jojoba oil, literally just straight up natural jojoba oil. And I ended up mixing it with the Mario Badescu coconut body oil <laughs> because I don't even know how I ended up with this concoction, but I spray the oil on my body and I really love the Vaseline Radiant X line. This, this bottle is like literally here. I have ran through this shit, it smells so good. It's really easy to fucking rub in. I hate lotions that like make you put in work, bro. I hate thick ass lotions. I'm literally gonna take you through every step of my routine. Literally starting from fresh out the shower. Like I just brush my brows and lashes. You know, I, you guys know I get my lashes done and I clean them in the shower. I still have the towel on, but I look like I'm naked. <laughs> this is a lot. But look how good that glow is. It's so gorgeous. My skin like just, it's so good. But I'm gonna put this hotel robe on to get ready. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Not really that cute or chic or classic, but it's comfy y'all. I'm, I'm at the one hotel in West Hollywood. We love the one hotel. I stay there in Manhattan or in uh, Brooklyn. Iconic. First I go in with my Laneige. Where is my spray? Here she is. Coda Lee. Need her. <sighs> you know, I was gonna do toner, but I think I'm just gonna keep, I already sprayed it. I usually do toner first and then I'll spray my face, but my face was so dry because I was waiting for you guys to start my skincare that I just needed that. So that's our beauty elixir spray. It's literally crack. And then the glow recipe, pomegranate drops. Bro, I'm ripping through this shit. I just love this one, it's a firming serum. And I honestly go through different products, guys, all the time. But I'm just gonna show you my most consistent ones. Okay, it's rare for me to love product, but it's not hard for me to like them. Like there's so many good, good, good products out there. I use Drunk Elephant, I use Glow Recipe, I use Coda Lee. I use Peach and Lily. I use La Roche Posay. I'm trying to think of like all the skincare, like the range of skincare brands, but I don't exclude any of them. I use Kiehl's. I've also made it a habit to travel with my fan just for my skincare, because I love it. But look at that, like, look at that finish. I'm obsessed with it. Did I even pack my glass skin? <gasps> oh no. Oh no, my team is literally gonna kill me. I 
think I've earned a few gray hairs the past few weeks, y'all. Work-wise, that's been crazy. Like, I just can't believe that my job is what it is and a task that it entails. Like, I feel like, okay, being an entrepreneur is crazy because there's no rules. There's no, like, and, like, there's, like, not a range. Like, you never know what... <laughs> I don't know. I was talking to my therapist about it, like... It's just crazy, 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 crazy how my life has changed. Like being a nurse to like being a full blown entrepreneur and like my own brand is just like two totally different things. It just happened very fast. Um, but I just went in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, iconic. So I think I'm gonna start my hair first so I can get it out the way. So for the photo shoot, I'm basically getting ready for the photo shoot right now and that'll kind of just like play into the day. But I washed my hair like two days ago. And this is literally just air dried. And I just like have been putting it in a bun and taking it out. So it doesn't really have much going on for it. There's no product in it though, which is good. So I'm just gonna put some curls. Do some curls, zhuzh it up. This is the this is Jalen's brush. Tangle teaser. I'm stressed out because I forgot something, guys. I literally was supposed to refilm something here and I just realized I didn't pack it. Like what? I think too is like when I'm not on my 100,000%, I'm not eating down on all of my P's and Q's and my tasks. Like I'm a very much all or nothing type of girl and either I'm all in and I'm slaying or like if one thing is off, like it just makes me feel like everything, like it's hard for me to recover when it's like L after L after L. And I feel like that's how I've kind of been in that space for the past like week or two and sometimes it's really hard to find motivation and like just feeling a little off but it's okay i honestly probably need to curl my whole head right now which i just realized but it's fine this is gonna be good because my hair this will last me tomorrow as well because i'm going to vegas um by the time you guys are seeing this i already edited it on the flight to vegas so that's fun i'm going to the super bowl this weekend period Oh my god, wait, I'm so iconic. I did pack it, I did pack it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I was ready to break the news that I literally was just the worst client in the world and I just can't even just be responsible for myself. Oh my god, I did, like, oh my god, I'm literally an icon, okay. <gasps> okay, wait, I actually did, I did a good job packing. I know I did. I brought my, like, light hairspray because I thought I only brought my really firm hairspray too. But basically I'm just curling my hair like this. I use this Paul Mitchell curling wand. It's so good. This is one of the only wands. I mean, honestly my hair holds really well with wands, but this one gets really hot and it's really good quality. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using it for as long as I can remember. Paul Mitchell's honestly one of my top like hair brands too that I use. Like their shampoo conditioner, their mousse, their hairsprays, their tools, like straightening irons, curlers. Like Paul Mitchell has a chokehold on me and also GHD. I love Living Proof. Um, I use Dove, like I love their shampoo conditioner for like natural hair days. We love Whey. I love me some Whey. I love Nexus for when I'm styling my hair. Like I like a lot of different products. And I feel like sometimes I struggle with like paid partnerships and stuff because it makes me not want to talk about my organic products. So I don't want people to think that like I'm always trying to sell something. Cause I do like products. Like I'm not gonna do a partnership that with something that I don't genuinely love. And I let, your girl likes a lot of things <laughs> but I want you guys to know that this video is just 100% organic and I just literally want to talk about my favorite things I might actually just finish my hair and answer some texts really quick because I feel a little overwhelmed and I'm, I just see my text piling up that's like my new year's resolution is to fucking answer texts answer texts when I see them Monet when you see the text come in just answer it Cause then it just piles up to like this cycle of like, okay, I feel guilty because I didn't answer and like, now I'm answering like five days later and like it's not even relevant anymore. Um, and I saw this one tweet, it's like when you finally answer all your 500 texts and they respond right away. <laughs> and I'm like, bruh. Some people really just are good texters and they respond so fast. I just am not that person and I feel like it gets in the way of so many probably like potential relationships and stuff too, like good friendships. But also I'm okay with being unbothered. 
Anyway, just like my internal thoughts. I'm done curling my hair. I kind of let the top pieces just sit and cool a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna hairspray them. Cause I think I'm gonna shake it out at the end and then just like, then I hairspray. It's 10, 10 right now. And we should leave at like 10.45, like 10. I'm gonna try to be ready in 30 minutes. My go-tos, your girl be getting headaches, bro. Okay, now we're getting to the makeup tea. Yay! Hair's done, skin's prepped. I'm so excited to use this new foundation because Makeup Forever launched their new foundation. And also, I'm really cool with the girls on the team. Remember when we went to Paris last year, Kristen and Nicola? Like, ever since then, we have been besties. So, um, I love working with Makeup Forever. Their products are absolutely amazing. And they just came out with their new Hydro Foundation. That's literally why I'm in LA too, to celebrate the launch. That's like the main reason. Um, and I kind of like packed a bunch of other things to do while I'm here. Every time I'm in LA, I feel like there's so much I could do. So um, before we get into that one though, I'm gonna start with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, Flawless Filter. This one's in the shade 6.5. And it's not a foundation, but it's like a glow. It's like a prep. It's a little more coverage. Whenever I don't want to wear like a full foundation, I'll literally just go on with this one though. Cause it does have that coverage, but it's just really for the glow. And I really love this product too. And doing a lot of partnerships too. I, f I fall in love with a lot of products that I wouldn't naturally try myself. I learned so much about the products. I think that's why it's so fun to share. Bye my best one. Show the girls your hair. Oh, looky looky. Looky looky. <laughs> looky looky. This boy was crying yesterday. I was not. He yes, I, yes, yes, I was. Tender ass head. Yeah, that. And then he didn't. He couldn't talk to me after. She he was, was so stiff. She was an amazing stylist. Yeah. Honestly, it was so cool. She DM'd me three years ago, saying if I was ever in LA that she wanted to braid my hair. And I don't even think my hair was long enough, but full circle moment. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I gotta yeah. admit. Yeah. I would have never thought. I yeah. love that so Especially much. Especially for her, but me is equal. But yeah, very cool. She the killed zigzags. that. The zigzags. Little beads, look. Yeah. Little beads. This is a Super Bowl hair. It's purple. Purple, it's purple. and clear. Purple, and clear, and gold. Yeah. All right. I love it. I love you. I love you. Okay. We're picking up some last minute things for the shoot because we're trying to do like an innocent, just like. Oh. Cute. This is this is vibe. this is her page. If you're in LA, she absolutely killed it. Okay, so yes, you see how it literally has my skin glowing, and I don't know. I'm just obsessed with that product too, but this hydro. The Hydro Glow. I mean, I use the NARS foundation, y'all. You know. I use that NARS foundation for ever. Forever. And I loved it. It was super light. Like, it was kind of like watery. And it was just like, love you. But I think this is my new go-to because it's a little bit thicker. It's a little more hydrating. But it's still like, ugh, I can't even describe it. I think that's like the main difference is that it's just more hydrating and still so lightweight. It blends so good. It blends so good. And especially with using cream products on top of it, like my contour and my blush, it literally just absorbs right into the foundation. I think these two as a prep, um, these two for my base, it's just so good. This shade is still a little bit light because I was using this shade before I went to Jamaica and I'm still tan. But um, even with that, it, it's not like one of those foundations that it's what the color is. Like, you know, some foundations, like you cannot get away with like blending things and like lightening, lighting it. Or just like, I don't know, some foundations are super not flexible. I feel like this one has like a really, just really good technology. It's so good. So anyway, love her, love her. As you guys can see, like look at that finish. I'm obsessed with a dewy base because I don't mind like have, like going on with powder where I want to, like just to make sure I'm like my T-zone. Um, but I think having that kind of finish on your forehead and your cheeks and just like your skin is like the most gorge, gorge finish. Like I'm looking hydrated, bitch. Yeah. I'm never too scared of foundation because there's 20 steps that come after it to like balance everything out. So I probably need to hurry up a little bit more. Next, my bronzer, Hourglass. This one is an espresso. Hourglass base products are so good and our packaging is just gorgeous. I usually take it on the back of my hand like this and warm it up with this Makeup by Mario brush. This is like my most used brush for blush and contour besides my Refi. I usually just go in 
my cheeks like this and then I usually do it like this right here in my socket I feel like it kind of just really defines your cheekbone more and just makes it more and it's kind of like you know that eyeshadow just that simple step just more intention going with my Danessa Myricks Rose and Brunch literally my fave blush and when I first used this one I used it with my fingers I think application girls is so important like how you apply your products and I was trying to say too like on my TikTok but I just never have enough time to talk there <laughs> that technique like placement of the product and how you apply it like with a brush or like fingers just changes the whole game so when I did this with my fingers it was like not any pigment there was no payoff I was like dang like what and then I decided to use it one day with a brush because I just really love this color and it just like changed my life <laughs> And I'm going to go with my concealer next. And I've been using a concealer brush instead of a sponge. And I feel like that always makes it look super perfect. So I go in with the Hourglass Concealer and Flax. It's always so juicy. But you only need like that much concealer. This is so, so full coverage. It is like a little bit. It goes a long way, girl. Especially with the brush. When you blend with a sponge, I think it takes away a lot of the product. So when you blend with a brush, it is just, you get so much more out of the product and you can really just control where you put it. So I like to take it like there and then like, just look at that already. The coverage is so good. I really do like to get it here though. I always end up putting too much somehow. Look at this shit. This is the Makeup by Mario concealer brush in I think it's F5. I just do it like this. I think I kind of just put just enough today. Usually I always put so much. I think that's just enough. Sometimes I'll take it up here. I always like do a little. But how good is that? How good is that concealer? Still right here. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to Brent Baez, his new album, Chop Not Slot version. I was mentioning it on my TikTok too. But when I get stuck on an album, like that's literally all I play. And it's just a vibe, it's a vibe. I honestly put only a little bit of concealer today. I feel like it looks like super light. Do it out here. Go here. Wait, Jalen asked me to be his Valentine's yesterday. <laughs> and it was so cute. Like, oh my God. E for effort, like I fucking love that shit. Like, oh my God, he never lets like a day go by that I'm not spoiled bro in every way and i am an attention whore when it comes to him like i just need his attention all the time i just feel like i'm like that with people i'm close with like i don't know i can only relate it to my mom always saying i needed her undivided attention growing up and even with him like he just gives it to me and i just always feel seen and hear heard <laughs> seen and heard and just like felt and all of it if you know what i'm saying but i am gonna go on with the laura, laura mercier y'all ultra blur powder it's crazy. I have not switched this one up. There's like no translucent powder that compares. Laura got the translucent one luck. I just think the shade too, it doesn't make it look darker. Like this is the only powder I feel like doesn't change the shade of my makeup. My under eye, especially when it comes to my concealer, bro. I just hate, ew, are those my eye bags? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do like a super matte face for Okay, I'm gonna go on with a brown liner. I'm gonna bring her here today. Under here. Cause I do want my eyes to be a little like bolder for the photo shoot. And then I usually take it like this. No, I'm dragging like that. Yeah, yeah. You see me, you see me? This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I feel like I don't know what I wanna do with highlight lately because I have such a cream base. Like I've just been playing, been playing around with like highlights lately. I did get this one from Dior. In my last video, I really talked about it. And it was like my first impression of it. But I like to go in with like, between these two, depending on how bright I'm trying to be today, I'm gonna do the subtle one just for photo purposes. And just highlight the fuck out of my nose. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, that is bright. I'm gonna blend it, don't worry. I'm definitely gonna come under here. 
Yes, 2016 core. Right, and if you take it right here, it kind of just like, it still gives you that shadow here, but it brightens and like open dry a little bit. I need to go, I need to pluck my eyebrows though. Cause this time I actually didn't get them waxed when I got them laminated because I just felt like I was gonna tear, bro. Every time I literally have a fear that I'm gonna tear because I do try a lot of skincare, but I, I'm always aware if I'm doing like an acid, bro. I'm not doing like full blown strong ass acids on my face. And that's really what would make your skin more sensitive to tearing. So I decided just to dermaplane because the last thing I wanted was to have like a scab. Those eyebrow scabs too, if you guys ever tore like from getting your brows waxed, you know what I'm saying. Those fucking scabs just don't go away. You can't cover them. You can't do none. I'm going with the Estee Lauder first kiss. Pink kiss, pink kiss. Just on top because I feel like I don't have enough pink. And if you guys notice, I didn't even do my brows though. I forgot to, I forgot to just gel them. I do like them a little skinnier though. And then I just like kind of pull a few hairs so it looks like feathery. But I don't want them to be like so organized. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna ask me about the stockings then. Hey. What size leggings? Can I can I see? Can I see? I'm not doing that. Okay, while well, I get my lips really quick, I'm doing um, this new one from Skin, y'all. Shade Nude 13. It's so good. Nude 13. <laughs> it's so good. I I've been loving this one. But there was about like three other shades that I really liked. Um, which is surprising. I feel like it's usually rare. I have a few options I can use. This one's L'Oreal. 105. I like 120 better, but I forgot to pack it. But they both work. Okay, and the gloss, Sunrise Blush, bro. I'm obsessed with these couple really yummy glosses. Like they're so fucking good. Girl. So anyway, that's like my go-to B. I feel like I'm cute. I low-key miss like putting mascara on and like doing lashes because I've just had my lashes done for so long. But I need to clean up really quick and start packing. So thanks for getting ready with me, guys. This is so fun just like talking about products and just like being, just keeping it real simple and cute. Not answering no like deep questions, bro, because I feel like my brain just can't do it right now. <laughs> but make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. I will see you not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Um, I decided I'm gonna do three weeks of the month on YouTube. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let you guys know in the next few videos because I feel like not everyone's gonna hear this message and I don't want people to be so confused. But for longevity, I'm gonna do three weeks and then one week off on YouTube so I can just like strategize and just get some energy and just feel like I have um, just a, a week to take a break. Because I feel like once you just like have indefinitely every single Sunday, I feel like that's when I start to go a little crazy. I don't need to explain it. I feel like you guys totally get it. But thank you guys for getting ready with me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.